Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Today I'm going to show you several popular celebrity photos such as Ashley Graham, Jim Carrey, Buzz Aldrin, Gwen Stepani, Neely Cyrus, and many more, proving that the one-eyed occult elite never takes a vacation. By the way, I apologize if lately I've been making videos about photos related to the occult elite. In my opinion, these photos are very useful to open people's eyes about the dark world that they consume in mass media. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Supermodel Ashley Graham was featured in New York Magazine with a photo shoot that is 100% about beta kitten programming. If you know a bit about the symbolism relating beta programming, you will instantly recognize it here. For starters, the magazine cover is 100% dedicated to feline prints, used to identify beta kittens in the monarch system. The magazine says that Graham goes full Marilyn for the photo shoot. That is appropriate, because Marilyn Monroe is the figurehead of beta programming. Also, notice the subtle one-eye sign here. Every single star chosen to be a representative of beta programming must, at one point or another, embody Marilyn Monroe. Apparently, it is Graham's turn. David LaChapelle, one of the elite's favorite photographers, released a new art book. Neely Cyrus, one of the elite's favorite pawn, is used to promote that book. As it is often the case with La Chapelle pics using industry slaves, the result is extremely symbolic. Here, Mealy poses completely transparent inside a desolate jail cell, reaching out for the sun. Sorry, I have to edit the photo before I post it here. In the next picture, Mealy is transformed into a colorful butterfly, and a bunch of flowers grew around her. This is 100% about monarch programming. In the twisted symbolism of mind control, slaves who have been successfully programmed are depicted with butterfly wings, the insect that begins as a caterpillar to transform into a beautiful butterfly. In both pictures, Mealy is naked, representing that the fact that she's defenseless and possibly a beta slave. Also, in both pics, she's still inside her cell, representing the fact that the butterfly thing is all inside her head. That David LaChapelle book should be very symbolic. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. As usual, the one eye sign popped up everywhere in mainstream media. It can be seen on the cover of magazines, on the cover of music albums, on movie posters, and even on non-relevant ads. We are constantly reminded of who owns this entire industry, yet very few people actually see it. Brian Gosling stars in the movie Blade Runner 2049. Wired magazine published an article promoting that movie, and this is the main picture of the article. One eye. In your face. Tell a friend. Also, that robot head above Ryan has something going on in the right eye as well. Harrison Ford is the other star of Blade Runner 2049. He was featured in the cover story of GQ magazine to promote that movie as well. Once again, the one eye sign. In your face. Tell a friend. To make 100% sure that you understand that there is nothing random about this one eye thing, here's another one. There is something sad about these old guys forced to do these ridiculous signs to stay relevant. Another artist looking to stay relevant is Gwen Stefani, who is doing the classic I Need Some Moolah move by releasing a Christmas album. The cover features Stefani hiding an eye with a mistletoe. What a charming way of indicating that she's an industry slave. Also, good news, you can buy a whole bunch of garbage featuring that one eye sign. Say Hun, from K-pop group EXO, does the one eye thing on the cover of Super L China. Subtle detail. On the nail of his raised index is a cross that is inverted on the pick. The cover of Echo Smith's album features all three members with one eye hidden. 
The guy at the bottom left also hides one eye with a flower, to make sure you understand that this is done on purpose. Not the doughboy, too. Jumps out of the window. This is Buzz Aldrin, the second man on the moon. Why would an aging man with a glorious past do a hand sign like this one? The one who can answer it means you've been awake for a long time. Danish singer, Ole And, makes it extra clear that this one eye thing is also forced on regional stars. Another pick of her in Vogue magazine. Gotta be part of that agenda to get that sweet magazine exposure. Olivia Buckland is an English reality television personality and model. She is also has a donut on her face. Bill Skarsgård, in Days magazine, with a ball hiding one eye. Wait, maybe this is just a random silly pic with a ball just accidentally hiding an eye. Nope, it is all about the one eye sign. Ash Meow's Eye Girl, Danielle Brigoli, became famous after appearing on a Dr. Phil episode about out of control teens. For some reason, she became famous and she's been recruited by the entertainment industry. Expect more nonsense from her soon. Harris Jackson has been fully recruited by the same industry that killed her father. Sad. A poster for Deadpool 2. There are so many movie posters featuring the one eye sign, it is as if they are trying to tell us something. Another Deadpool 2 poster, featuring the former governor of California. This is a poster for the movie Kingsman 2. The original movie was all about making the occult elite cool to young people. Pink's album is called Beautiful Trauma. That is exactly the kind of twisted vocabulary used in trauma-based mind control. Let's not forget the fact that Just Like Fire, from the movie Alice Through the Looking Glass, was one of the most obvious monarch programming themed videos ever. This ad for Bourgeois is the most obvious one eye extravaganza ever seen. This is Madonna's daughter who is entering the fashion world through the big door. I am pretty sure her mommy has a few more $20 bills for her to pose with. Billy Piper in Stylist Magazine. But wait, maybe this is just a quirky pick with no underlying meaning. Do other picks from that Billy Piper article proving that there was nothing random about hiding one eye. It is a requirement. An ad for nails from Poland. You thought Poland was exempt from this nonsense, didn't you? You were like, at least, they don't have this stuff in Poland. Made you feel good. Sorry to break it to you, but Poland is not exempt. The album cover of the Queens of the Stone Age albums is very symbolic. It features the devil covering the actual eyes of a rocker and controlling his hands with strings like a puppet. A good way of portraying the inner workings of the industry. Mel B's dress at the MTV VM has had a clear message on it, you will never own me. It was interpreted as a message of defiance to her estranged husband Stephen Belafonte. However, the back of the dress appears to tell a deeper story. On her butt is a big eye, which, as we know, represents the occult industry. Are the words you will never own me also addressed to the industry? Jim Carrey has released a short video explaining his love of painting. Some of his paintings were highly symbolic and filled with MK imagery. In this one, a man, Carrie, is cut and torn apart and sewed back together, these exact words appear on his chest. One eye is flying away. Under the other one is inscribed, blinded. The words drugged, silenced, used and abused, defiled, and not dated sedated, can be found in the painting. The words get out devils, and get out blood witches, are written on the wall. These references to being torn apart, abused, drugged, and dark occultism are all part of mind control. This painting is very reminiscent of those by Kim Noble, a monarch programming survivor. Another painting by Carey. Monarch programming. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. 
As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. Always appreciate it greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.